Hey there folks, today we are going to go back in time and play City of Heroes. So apparently City of Heroes has returned and we can now log in and play the game. So this video is a video detailing how to install the client on your computer. And I will put links to everything in the description down below that you would need to know, which would be this page that I'm showing you right now. So we'll go through the steps together so that you can see them. But you can follow this page, and if you're following the page and you do have any difficulty, there is a link to the community guide down below, or uh, the um, where you can uh, see troubleshooting steps for your problems and ask because you already be in the forums to to do things like that. So. The first step is to download either Tequila, if you're on Windows, or Island Rum, if you're on Mac. And this is the official launcher of Homecoming City of Heroes server. So we've done that, I've downloaded it already, and what we need to do is we need to make a folder called COH and drag that in there. And now we're down to here. So we've got a folder named COH, there's our file, and we're going to double click it. And we're just gonna tell it to install everything right there. All right, so while that's downloading, we're going to carry on. And you can see it's filling the folder with files we're going to carry on with the rest of what's required to install the program, or what's required to set up your account. So while it's downloading, you want to make an account on the forums. So you follow this link, which is the easiest way to get there, and that will bring you to a cre account creation page for the forums, which will bring up a window to ask you for some information. I've already got an account on here, so I don't have to create an account and really don't want to log out of my account just yet. Then the next thing you're going to make sure you're signed in. And then the easiest way to get to the game account page to create a username and password for the game, which can be the same or different than your forum name, is to follow this link. I looked for it through the menu of the forum page and did not find an easy way to tell you how to get to it. So the easiest way to get there, obviously follow this link and it will take you straight to the place where you put in your game, username and password. So you put in a login name and password for your game account and you'll be able to change the password from this page at any time. So after you've got your forum account, and you're signed into the forum, which means all the way into where you can see account settings and whatnot, like I'm showing you here, then you'll set up your game account on a page like this. And you'll click change game password or create game account, I believe it said, and you will have a game account. And once that's done, you'll put your game account in your Tequila client. So we are still downloading, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take to download, but uh, it doesn't really give us any time estimates. So Homecoming is where we want to play. Got some options for the launcher. Nothing too complicated. And apparently me going into the options while it was downloading the patcher kind of borked it up. So let's run it again. There we go. Now we're making progress. Okay. So files are downloading. Things are showing up. I'm not going to wait for the entirety of this download to complete. But if you're following the guide that I've linked below, select Homecoming, put in your username and password when it asks. After you click play, 
and it says here to select the Indomitable and Excelsior servers. Excellent choices for getting in quick. And like I said, it isn't giving me any estimate on how long this is going to take to finish downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it completes for me as well as for you. And that will be obviously a success. If you have trouble or problems, again, the community guide has a lot of troubleshooting steps that can help you troubleshoot anything you might be having a problem getting it going or alternative methods of getting the game files if you need them. So I will make a link to this document, which is apparently everything you need to know to get in. And tomorrow we will spend some time actually playing the game. And I played City of Heroes when it came out. And I want to see what it's turned into. I stopped right before a lot of the expansions came out. Um, just wasn't really into it anymore. So, at that point, it was just one of those things where it was like, okay, I, I just don't want to do this anymore. And, and you'll see why when I play the game, if it re retains its original pace, it, it's a very grueling game. It's, it's not very level friendly in some cases. You can, when I left, you could power level really easy, but I'm very opposed to power leveling especially for a first character because you don't get the benefit of learning how to play your character until you're already max level and then that's not the point where you want to learn how to make how to play your character um, so generally i played my characters all the way through it wasn't a terrible grind but it wasn't the fastest way to level of any game that i played uh, so anyway tomorrow we will go through the player the character creator and see if it retains its original charm and flexibility and we will then get in and play some city of heroes which uh, i haven't played since about oh geez maybe 2008 so it's been like 11 years since i played this game i always like to check out these old games but this is current and this is now and this is something you can get into if you feel like it uh, I imagine the system requirements are fairly low, even though I don't see any listed, because if it's uh, keeping in trend with the norm, with the graphics that it had back then, it's not too challenging for you to uh, to play. So, follow the directions in this guide that I've linked in the description down below. I welcome any comments on this. I know a lot of people are probably pretty excited to hear this it has come back, so we'll see if it still is worth playing tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. See ya.